I'd do a second video today. Uh, I think I made two yesterday or the day before too, but I thought I'd do a second one today. This is, uh, everything's been kind of RV related, but I guess this is, uh, really RV related. Uh, It's about uh, the internet. You'd think, well, all of us out there that are living full time, and there are a lot of us, I mean, it doesn't seem like it because you may only run into one or two, but there are a lot of people out there that live full time in an RV. And the internet for us sucks. If we're in a RV park, there's so many people on it, you can't, you have a hard time doing anything on it anyhow, because it's so slow. Uh, and I think I mentioned the other day, but I'm not sure, that we had HughesNet put in here. Uh, actually, my nephew had it put in. I told him, go ahead and put it in, and we'd pay for part of it. You know, we're staying here, we're using it. And I was thinking it would be, you know, super fast, because, you know, it's used to a satellite, and You'd think it'd be really fast. Well, it's not. I've had dial-up that was faster than this. Uh, then you can buy hotspots. They're kind of expensive, too, by the time you figure it all out. Just so we can upload a video once in a while, show people what we're doing, and, you know, make a video about fixing something on your RV. And, of course, there's a lot of non-RVers that watch it because they would like to be an RVer. It would seem like they could come up with something that we could all use that would uh, make things a little faster, allow us to upload our videos anywhere we want instead of having to go to a McDonald's or, or whatever. You know, whoever has free internet, coffee shops and like that. But they don't. It would seem like somebody would see that there's thousands of these people out there living in their RVs. Why don't we, we could make a fortune if we just make something that they could use all the time. And it, it, with today's technology, it shouldn't be hard. But for some reason it is. And, uh, we thought about getting a Hughes net for, you know, putting a dish on the camper or on the RV, have gas will travel. But uh, I was really disappointed in it. Uh, maybe it's the location we're at. Maybe it is faster, but I've talked to a couple people now, and they both say the same thing. They've had dial-up that was faster, and I don't know why. And uh, it's not cheap. None of, none of the internet things that you use in your RV are cheap. And the thing is, we have one of the worst internet systems in the world. I mean, you know, you go overseas, their internet's twice as fast as ours. Of course, they have all, I don't want to say it, they, we had it first. We're still using a lot of the lines and equipment that were originally put in, where they have because they put theirs in afterwards, their systems have been upgraded, even though they're new to them. Uh, I know in Europe, their their internet's a lot faster. I don't know how dependable it is, but I know it's faster. Uh, and it seems like we're kind of losing group here. Uh, if somebody came up with that, man, I know there's tons of people that would sign up for it. I know I would. Uh, it would just be real nice if somebody would sit back and pay attention to us a little bit. I mean, we're, we're a good group of people, you know. There's not just a few of us, there's a lot of us. There may only be a few here and a few there, but you add all those fews up and you have a lot. And, uh, I don't know, it just seems kind of stupid that somebody hasn't come up with something yet that really works good. Uh, 
Even with a hot spot, you have to have the hot, you have to buy the little unit, I guess. You have to pay for time on it and all that. And then you have to, I don't know if you, we don't have a hot spot. I've never, actually, I've seen them. I've never actually used one, so I don't know if you have to have a special phone to go with it or what. But I want something that I can plug right into my computer and use my computer on. Uh, they may have such a thing. I don't know. We've been kind of checking around looking for something. I thought this Usenet would be the answer. You know, we just put a satellite dish on top. And I talked to the guy while he was installing it. And he says, oh, yeah, we, you can put one up there. I said, well, that'd be great because we're traveling all the time. You know, with the satellite, we just aim it in and, and, you know, ready to go. He says, no. We have to set it up each time you move. And I said, well, that doesn't do me any good. Because I don't know what, I don't know, $79 or something, 100 bucks. I don't know what it costs to have it set up each time. They'll pay for the first move. I mean, they'll come out and do it for nothing for the first move. But after that, you got to pay them each time. Well, if you jump around a lot every couple of weeks or every week or even every month, do you want to pay another $79 to have them set it back up again? I wouldn't. That, you know, that's getting pretty expensive there. But it would seem like somebody could come up with one that, that we could use. So we could share our videos, rants, raves, bunnies, whatever you want to put on there. You should have a way to do it. And it shouldn't cost you $2,000 a year to do it. But, uh, I don't know, it just seems like kind of a sore spot to me that I can't get something that works wherever I go. I mean, there's always going to be spots where something won't work, but if you're near a, a major town or something, and I don't have to, I don't say it has to be like New York City or Los Angeles or something like that, I mean, just a good-sized town, it seems like you ought to be able to get something that would work that you don't have to pay in an arm and a leg for you shouldn't be limited to, geez, I can put two videos up and then I'm out of, I'm out of uh, gigabytes for the month or whatever. But uh, we're still learning here. And I will find something. I'm going to have to buy something that, that works. When we're down in the park down in Florida, we're just going to have cable hooked up. Because a friend of ours that stays there already said, you know, they have free Wi-Fi if you can get on it. He says, you can get on it, but it'll kick you back off. Well, that's no good when you're uploading a video. And uh, so we're just going to go. He said they have, he said they will come right in and put regular, you know, regular cable right into your, our RV have gas will travel is already hooked up for cable and all that. So, and I have my own router and everything, so that's not a big deal. But because we're going to be there six months. I will pay the installation charge to have it hooked up, so I'm going to use it for six months. So that's not bad, but it's, it's just something to think about. And hopefully somebody sees this that maybe can do something. And, you know, there's a lot of us. And I don't know who to, if I knew somebody to contact that would, you know, maybe take an interest in it, I would try it. But there is a market for this. So it seems like somebody come up with a product to sell for it. And, uh, you know, I guess that's about all I've got to say for now. I just, you know, it kind of bugged me. And we were sitting inside watching videos. And I just sit there and watch them. It says loading. Loads it up. Somebody's right in the middle of mid-sentence and it says loading because it stopped again. So I thought I'd put this on here. It just bugged me and it was something I wanted to do. And I don't want to make this too long, so I'm going to get off here. So this is Handsome Jack, Ramblin' Rose and Princess of Have Gas, Will Travel. And uh, it's just something to think about. Uh, I'd appreciate some comments on this. Uh, if anybody has any ideas or anything or knows of something that I don't know about, there might be something out there I don't know about. But. Let us know. 
and uh, till the next one, we will catch you later. Goodbye for now.